Hey guys, how's it going? So a couple of videos ago, I did a tutorial on how to use HRC. It was an updated tutorial and I mentioned this new feature called scripting. And I said, if you want to know more about it, drop a comment down below. Now, several of you did do that. They dropped a comment down below. And so I'm going to do a video right now all about HRC scripting. Let's get into it. All right. So first up then, I'm just going to go through why I think scripting is is amazing what it is uh, maybe you've never heard of it before uh, so what I'm going to do is just create a, a really simple setup here 40 big blinds and uh, I've got here four players max preflop we're just going to keep it in chippy v at the moment no ICM or anything like that I'm going to click next as you can see everything's blank here at the moment I just want to walk you through this bit just to show you why I think it's you know it's really really important so let's say that we uh, want to open to two big blinds we want a three bet to six big blinds, but you can also jam as well. Uh, and then four bet's gonna be all in. And then when it comes to flat calls, we wanna be able to flat call the open, but we also wanna flat call the three bet, but we don't want over calls. Now you've seen this all before. You know, If you haven't, definitely watch the tutorial. Uh, I'll post a video either up here or here. Click that, watch the tutorial video before you watch this one. Uh, but yeah, so this is what we would set up. And some of you might be already thinking, but what happens if we're in the small blind and we want a three bet you know, slightly bigger. So maybe we want a three bet to seven big blinds so we can put that in. But then we want a three bet for a different size from the big blind. We want a three bet, say eight big blinds. We want to go to four X from, from the big blind. And then what about the small blind? We don't want him to raise to two big blinds because that would just, you know, that's just not right. So we're going to go three and a half big blinds as well. But we also want the, the small blind to be able to call. So we put all these things in and what happens is you get an absolutely mess of a sim. And so what the script does is only allow certain race sizes, certain actions based on the position of the player. So first up, don't look at the sim to the right. This hasn't run for anywhere near long enough. The key thing I want to focus on is the different bet sizes that we've got in here. So we've got a limp, we've got a 2x, we've got a 3.5x. So this is where script's gonna really help because we don't wanna have all these raise sizes for every single position. We only wanna have the, the 3.5x maybe for the small blind, right? And we only wanna have limps for the small blind as well. We don't wanna have limps and 3.5x from all the other positions. So how are you gonna do that? Well, the answer, of course, you already know because you clicked on the video, it's all about scripting. Let's take a look at that now. All right, so what I've done here is download a couple of examples from the HRC website. There's a, a simple one here, example one, that's the one we're gonna go through today. But there's also an advanced one as well. So once you get comfortable with running through the example one, uh, so you know, maybe you do it alongside watching this video right now, then you can take a look at the advanced one as well. Um, but yeah, these come from their website. I'll pop a link in the description down below to download these. They're really, really helpful. Uh, let's take a look at this first one. So I loaded this in Notepad, and this is just the description at the top. Uh, so this script was based on Harambee's suggestions. You can have a look at that forum post if you like. Only the small blind then can complete or limp. And then you've got uh, configurable flats for each bet number, multiple opening three bet squeeze sizes, separate sizings for the small blind and the big blind. Uh, so it's already looking pretty good. And you can also see there adjusting squeeze size based on the number of flat calls and the all in threshold. So let's first take a look at preflop uh, open sizes in big blinds. If you're playing, say, 20 big blinds deep, you don't want to have a 2.3 big blind open size, then you can change this. Uh, you can also just leave it there if you want, if you think 2.3 is the right size for 20 big blinds. Um, but yeah, 40 big blinds, I'm going to go with 2.3. Looks good. So you can see the raise sizes that we have in big blinds for each of the positions. We've got all the other positions, and then we've got button, small blind, and big blind. You can see as well that the button, small blind, and big blind can go all in. If you're 20 big blinds or maybe 15 big blinds deep, you could set others to all in as well uh, to allow to allow that. You don't just wanna have min raises from say EP all the way around to the cutoff. There are gonna be some jams, especially in those later positions like cutoff and hijack. So in a moment, we'll take a look at say 30 big blinds instead of 40. And uh, I'm gonna change these raise sizes uh, in real time. Then we're gonna take a look at three bets then. And so here we've gone for a three X three bet. So 2.3 times three is 6.9. Uh, and then we've got a three bet big blind versus the small blind. So it's just nine big blinds, uh, three betting big blind versus other. So this is just four X from the big blind. Uh, we've got small blind versus the big blind. So if the small blind limps, the big blind raises to 3.5, then the small blind is going to go to 9.2. Uh, and then the small blind here is going to 8.1, which is roughly three and a half times the 2.3x open size here. So there is a bit of maths involved in this. You're going to have to think about how big your raise sizes want to be. So you've got your open raise size and then you know, 
what's the sort of the the multiple i guess um you know from the small blind you go 3.5x big blind you're going to go 4x the deeper you are the bigger you might want to go the shallower you are the smaller you might want to go so i'll show you that in uh, in a moment let me get to squeeze sizes and again uh, so this, this is if someone opens and then someone calls in position we're going to go to 9.2 so again this is 4x so it's just 3x plus plus the one call so we're going to go to 4x here so 2.3 times 4 is 9.2 similarly from the small blind i think this is four and a half times 2.3 and then the big blind this is five times 2.3 then we've got a let squeeze increase per call. Uh, I think you can actually change this to 2.3 so that it is literally a, a multiple of, of 2.3 every time. So it's either 3x, 4x, 5x, for example. Uh, but here you can see that in this, this example, we've got just a 2x. Um, so we'll change that in a moment. Uh, although you know, when we come to do 30 big blinds, it will just be a min raise anyway. So this will be the right number. But I think that you could actually just change this number to the preflop raise size and that would be, uh, that would be good. So further down then, we've got all in threshold. Uh, I haven't done much work with this. I'm just gonna leave that as it is right now. Uh, I imagine it's gonna be something like 37% of, uh, of the pot or 37% of the uh, effective stack sizes. Again, if you know more about this, definitely drop a comment down below. Then we get to flatting rules and it says let allowed flats per raise. So we allow two flats against an open, one against a three bet, one against a four bet, and then no flats allowed against four bets and six, uh, sorry, five bets and six bets. Uh, the four bet's gonna be all in. Um, so I guess we just, you know, it's gonna just be all in anyway. So it's, you know, five bets and six bets are irrelevant. Then we get to the post flop betting. You can see here, these settings work exactly as the ones in the uh, user interface. We definitely wanna have three players to the flop. Uh, this is where the post flop engine's really gonna kick in. Um, and then we've, you can see here, we've got the primary hint. Uh, it's exactly the same as the setup in, in HRC. You can change this to, to any number. Um, the shallower you are, I think you'd want to change this to a, to a smaller amount, but you can see there the default here from the example is 75%. Uh, you get a secondary hint here, you could change that to 33 or any other number. Uh, and then you've got add all in true, so it's just turning that on, like the checkbox is, is ticked. So that's everything you need to know about a really simple script. But now we need to see how do we actually get it to work in HRC. Okay, so we're gonna create another advanced hand here. I'm gonna click next. And you can see all of the bet sizing and the abstraction details in here. But this time we're gonna click load a tree building script and we're gonna choose our example one here. And that's it. We're then just gonna click finish. And as you can see, we no longer have you know a limp or a 3.5x from any other position apart from the small blind. So we've got uh, small blind limp, we've got a small blind 3.5x in here. So it's a really nice way to keep the sim nice and tidy and actually using the bet sizes that you want rather than loads of different bet sizes, lots of different actions, which of course is gonna make the tree bigger, which is then gonna take longer to run. And any way that we can make study more efficient, then it's gonna get a thumbs up from me. So let's take a look at then first at the three bet sizes. You can see it goes to 2.3x and then 6.9. We also have jams in there as well. Uh, if we did go for a call, you can see that the squeeze size now is 9.2. Uh, if I go back to the first example, let's say we'd min raise to two big blinds and then there was a call. You can see the three bet size is six bigs, seven bigs or eight bigs. You know, we gave it all of those options, but actually, you know, this is this tree is just gonna take forever to run and there's just way too much going on here. Shout out to the, uh, the Skittle-esque uh, color scheme though going on here when you've got, what is it? One, two, three, four, five, six different options in this spot. So similarly, let's take a look at the different three bet sizes from late position. So we three bet from the button and you can see the small blind now goes to 8.1, uh, but the big blind goes to 9.2. So again, let's go back to the original and you can see button raises to two and then the small blind has all these three different options. Uh, that's just, you know, way too much. So again, keeping it nice and clean, keeping it simple and using the raise sizes that you want. So a smaller raise size from the small blind, big blind with a more polarized strategy uh, is going to go slightly bigger here. And you can see it's 4X in this spot. All right, so what happens then if you want to edit the script? So let's say you wanna do 30 big blinds instead. Well, I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. All right, so I've made a copy here. I'm just gonna open this once again. Okay, so here's the example once again. And this time we're gonna take a look at 30 big blinds. And actually at 30 big blinds, I just like to min raise. So we're gonna change the raise size to two big blinds. Uh, we're going to uh, also have two big blinds for the button. But let's say this time we only wanna have say 3.1 from the small blind and 3.2 from the big blind instead. So I've changed the raise sizes there. We're gonna carry on down. So this time the three bet size doesn't need to be as big. So we could change this to six. So I've just done three X once again. 
uh, big blind versus the small blind. So if the small blind goes to 3.1, let's say that this time uh, the big blind is going to go to something like uh, 8.1. I mean, you can change these numbers to whatever you like. This is just an example. Uh, three bet big blind versus others is going to go for 4x again. Uh, although we are 30 big blinds deep, so maybe we go 3.5x or 3.6. Let's go 7.2. Uh, so what I've done here is just multiply 2 by 3.6, so we're going to 7.2. Small blind versus the big blind, so if the small blind limps, big blind raises to this 3.2 number. Uh, we want to be able to, to 3 bet non all in, so let's go to 9 this time. And then uh, small blind versus the other, we're going to go 3.5, so we're going to go to 7.0. So again, 2 big blind open times 3.5 is 7. Okay, so then we get to squeeze sizes. And I think uh, in position then just needs to be 8.0 or just 8 because we've gone to an open. Someone's called and we want to go 3x plus the one caller. So 2 times 3 is 6 plus 2 is 8. Quick maths. 2 plus 2 is 4 minus 1. That's 3 quick maths. Uh, small blind then. We're going to go 3.5. We're going to go 4.5 the original raise. So that's going to be 9.0 this time. So again, 4.5 times 2 is 9. And the big blind then this time is going to be uh, 3.6 plus 1. So 4.6. So we're going to change this number to 9.2. Next bit then is about how big we increase the squeeze size. So I think you can just leave this as 2.0. You just want to make it the same number as the as the open. If you wanted to decrease the squeeze size, you know, for multiple callers, then absolutely you could change this to like 1.9, 1.8, or you know, as it, as we had it before. At 2.3, it was it was uh, got, it had gone down to two. But you know, this is just personal preference. Let's carry on through. So we're going to leave all of this as it is. So this time we're going to go down to the post-flop betting and I'm actually going to change this number to just 50%. I think as we get shallower, uh, we can definitely reduce the uh, the primary bet size hint. Uh, if you've got some other thoughts on that, then yeah, drop a comment down below. I'd love to hear them. All right, so I think that's it. So I'm going to click save or control S on the keyboard and now we're going to load this into HRC. Okay, an advanced hand once again but this time we're going to change the stack sizes to 30. I'm going to click next. Uh, okay. And we can ignore all of this once again, because we're going to load our script, which is this copy one. And then we're going to click finish. Okay. So as you can see, we've got min raises for all the positions we left all in for the button. Uh, it's unlikely for chip EV at 30 big blinds that the button's going to have any jams. So, uh, yeah, I think once this SIM runs for, for long enough, all of these will disappear. It'll just be 0% for jams. Now you can, if you want to, remove that from the script, just get rid of it. Uh, it's just another node or branch of the game tree that you don't need. Let's take a look at three bet sizes then. So we've got, you know, we're going to 6x now, or six big blinds, so 3x the original raise. We've also got some jams in there as well. Uh, if we do call, we should now squeeze to eight big blinds, as you can see. Um, but let's go to late position. Let's do cutoff opens and the button calls. You can now see the squeeze size is nine big blinds. Uh, from the small blind and 9.2 from the big blind. If we go button raises, we're going to see that we're three betting to 7x here and 7.2x from, from the big blind. And then finally, let's take a look at the small blind. We can limp or we can 3.1x. So if we limp, big blind can go 3.2. We said we wanted to go to 9. And then we've got the other options here, call, four bet after that. Uh, if we went for the arrays originally, big blind goes to 8.1. That's what we put in. And then the small blind can either call or jam. And of course, fold. But it's not going to show you that here. Uh, it's just going to come out in, in white over here on the right hand side. All right, so I'm going to wrap things up there. I think that's it for a simple introduction to scripting. If you think that I've missed anything, then drop a comment down below. Happy to make future videos on this. If you haven't done so already, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell as well. And I'll be back soon with a brand new video. But until then, take care and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.